We have the best guides in Vinewood. Get the inside scoop on all the hot spots. That's something new. As I am contractually obliged to say, buckle up, everyone. It's showtime. Look what you did. Love your eyes. So much history here. Someday, I'm gonna buy that. Maybe it's a tax write-off. Just up ahead is another place to see and be seen in Rockford Hills, the Richmond Hotel. An iconic entertainment industry hangout, sleazy producer types, have been promising to make young girl stars here for over a hundred years now. Not gonna lie, I did some shameful things in that lobby bar in my youth, but I put that period of my life behind me now.
This tour is terrible. I should remind you this is a no smoking bus. Unless, of course, it's medical marijuana, then you're all right. My favorite part of this city is all the beautiful honeys. Hey, baby! I think the guide is making this stuff up. Here you can see the landmark Weasel Theater, which was opened here in Morningwood in 1930. Some of the biggest movies in history have premiered at this theater, including Blue Blood, Shoulder of Orion, and the many wives of Alfredo Smith. You might remember the controversial premiere of the gladiator comedy Lions and Donkeys in 1984, when star Chip Hampton walked up the red carpet with two slaves in chains. Look at that! That's nice. I was a member of the jury in the 1991 movie Last Will and Testament. They, they cut my line. I want to hire a guy to build me one of those. Would you look at that? So this is how you drive, right? What's the name of that movie they filmed here? Wow, I'd never noticed that thing before. And now to our left, ladies and gentlemen, is the famous Richards Majestic Studios. The product placement for classics like Nelson and Naples and Rum Runner and the not-so-classics like Vinewood Zombie and Shoulder of Orion 2 was shoehorned into the final edits right behind those very gates. Everyone has a favorite Solomon Richards movie. An American divorce really helped me through a difficult time when I was bankrupting my first husband. Oh, come on. Don't people in the Midwest watch movies? You must have seen Defender of the Faith. No? Wow. Tough crowd. This is what makes America great. I knew there was life outside Chinese school. Count yourselves lucky my prescription just got renewed this morning. <laughs> Yo, we shouldn't have drank that vodka. Are we there yet? You're totally following me. Not a nice bunch, these LS settlers. Just up ahead on the right is where Delancey Medua's septum fell out after a ketamine party. Jeez. It's all so glamorous. I didn't even know this was here. Boy, Bravo wow. is my shit! Cretin! Okay, people, get those cameras out. This is Portola Drive. You won't get a better chance to spot...
not a celebrity in its natural habitat. As you can see, the recession hasn't hit this part of town very hard. These are some of the most offensively high-end designer stores in the country. And now, some fun trivia for you. There have been a number of movies shot on Portola Drive, mostly awful ones about rich idiots, including the blockbuster 2005 romantic comedy, Shoe Whore, that's credited with sending women's rights back 50 years. The store we're passing now is where British star Charlotte Crown was caught on film in the changing room, eating and purging the same burrito over and over again, <laughs> just like a dog. This is the Epsilon Center. Anyone with red hair, please cover it for your own safety. If you really want to meet a famous celebrity, this place is packed full of them. Take an introductory course. It, it changed my life. Kiss mom! I'm pretty fucked up right now. Remember, these people are rich and beautiful. That makes them better than us. Oh man, I'd rather live here than in Liberty City. started this town were not nice people. I love seeing all the celebrities. Keep those cameras out and fingers on the trigger. Celebs are skinny and fast. I bet nobody where I grew up knows any of this stuff. This tour is terrible. My favorite part of this city is all the beautiful honeys. Hey, baby! I think the guide is making this stuff up. I wonder how many people live here. My parents never told me about this stuff. this stretch of road from those videos of Jill von Krestenberg with the Romanian shot put team. How long does this thing last? This is the club Oh man, I gotta take a piss. And here is City Hall. This is where the mayor's office is, if any of you care. You might recognize this building from the 20-minute final dogfight to save her in the movie Invasion Los Santos. What's wrong with the world? Hey! That's pretty cool.
It brings me to tears, man. Someday, I'm gonna buy that. Holy shit! Tax right off. My mom told me about that. Please refrain from taking photos of ethnic minorities. They could be gang members. Hey, that shit was fucked up last night, right? Oh, yes, that's super. I'm really excited. Yes. This is awesome! How did that get on the tour route? I love this place. The next corner is where actor Scott Stevens famously prolapsed after a failed party trick. Visionaries like me make things like that happen. That's pretty impressive. What's the name of that movie they filmed here? never noticed that thing before. And here we have the beautiful Oriental Theater. Riots broke out on the theater's opening night in 1928 as desperate fans tried to get upskirt shots of the legendary silent movie star Miriam Turner, much like you're doing today, except with really heavy cameras. My daughter tells me it isn't politically correct to say Oriental anymore, but considering some of the other common terms for Asians in the 1920s, the name could have been a lot worse. There's a saying that to go to Los Santos and not see the Oriental Theater is like going to China and not visiting a burger shop. You know, I've never really understood what that means, but... And here we are, back on the stretch. As they say in Vinewood, that's a wrap, folks. I hope I managed to take your minds off the economic downturn for just a little while. I'd like to remind any Europeans that 1% is an insult.